Hi, my name is Joy Mutengi. I go by the name David Mutengi, otherwise known as Holy Day. So, can we first establish how we know each other? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my sister. My small sister. We are actual siblings. Somebody asked me the other day, like, is that your blood bro? And I was like, blood as opposed to... Only blood sis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, yes. This is my actual brother. That's who's right. who's yeah. older? Can we go through that? I'm, I'm older. I'm older. Um, Why do people always think I'm older? Because you made it in life. That's not true. Yeah, you made I it in think... life. And you broke out first. That's not true. I yeah. found you here. When I came back from the States, you were already But I was music. still struggling in the industry, you know. When you came, you went pa, radio, pa, TV. This is what I think mm -hmm. people think I'm older is because I'm more serious. I guess you're more outgoing and I'm Probably. like, I'm Probably. more, I'm the introvert. I'm so the people, joker. Yeah, you're the joker, so people <laughs> think like you're younger, but. Um, okay, so, so I'm a bit older. We are just very close in age, actually. Five siblings in our family. We are number four and five. And you know what people think we're actually two kids in the family? Nah, it's five of us. Yeah, it's five of us. It's just three that, girls, two yeah, boys. Yeah, just that the other ones that have <laughs> other careers and, you know, yeah. are not that known. We're the entertainers. <laughs> yeah. What were you like as a child? Um, As a child, I was, you know, the naughty type, always uh, breaking the rules in the family. That was me, and I was trying to get Joey into that. Uh, would you say I was a tomboy as a child? You were a tomboy. You were always hanging out with me and my crew. And that's how you started rapping and doing all that. <laughs> um, let me explain to you how Dave was a ch as a child. I remember a story, okay, I don't remember this, but I was told that you were yeah. once like locked up in a ch chicken coop mm. for being, like that was yes. your punishment. You know, you know, right now, I tell people, when people ask me about my phobia, I say that my phobia is chicken. I can't touch a live chicken. Weren't you also like tied under a table one yeah. time? Now, going back to that one, like, you know, mom actually locked me in the chicken coop because of, I think it was something I did to you. Of course. That's why I'm scared of chicken. Yeah, I was locked on the, the table. I don't know. I hear these Again. stories. Listen, I was a child. I, I kept on being locked onto places and yeah. under places. So the name Holy Day, why do you think mom does not like the name Holy Day? <laughs> well, um, first of all, because my parents, our parents, guys, yeah, are conservative Christians and, you know, the whole thing of you calling yourself holy doesn't me make sense to them. But you know, to me, being holy is just something that I can achieve, but I wake up every day trying to be, you know, and I'm being Why do you choose that name? Like, I remember, <laughs> I remember, like, your music hadn't really kicked off before yeah. I left for, for mm. Michigan. Yeah. But then, all of a sudden, your holy day, I'm like, what is, what is this? You know what, it started as a joke. Um, I remember the first time I was going to rap on stage at a Word of Life Bible camp, and we were looking for, you know, you had to register stage name. So I had this, my first verse went like this. It's me, the Holy Joe, the trainer, entertainer, telling oh. about the danger when the devil ruined my life. So I changed that part to, it's me, the Holy Dave, the trainer, entertainer, <laughs> and it stuck. Oh my so God. when I got a bit famous, I was like, you know what, I can't change that. I'm with mom. I call her HD or high def. Yo, I like me, those ones. You know what? Call me whatever you want to call me. Call me David Mubeng. I don't care. Uh, remember when you used to entertain? We used to entertain the family, especially so so our late grandmother. Yeah. Like I would dance, you would rap, whatever. Like so we've been like this since yeah. since we were small. Yeah, like we've been at this. It's been in us. Like I'm, I, I have a feeling if we actually chose other careers, we'd still be I don't know entertaining people in the office or something. Speaking of other careers. You did a degree in computer science, then you got your MBA, then now you're working on your PhD. That's right. What is your PhD in and why? Um, yeah, first of all, my, my bachelor's was in science, um, computer science. I changed my career to business, did an MBA in strategic management and finance, did professional courses in finance at Alpha Review Advisory. Right now I'm doing my PhD in entrepreneurship and small business development. My research is in scalability of okay many words Should I continue? <laughs> why why what what the what i mean to me like uh, i believe god gave me a brain and a good one so you know i believe that i can use my 24 in very unique ways you know i can use it in my entertainment side and also in my business side and you know what i'm not gonna do this music thing forever yeah so i'll be this consultant in the in the future so that's what i'm Amen. I think that's the difference between me and you. You have like your future plans are always like set. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, what it is? <laughs> Let's do What's this. What's happening? Let's do this. Yeah. We have a bunch of PhDs in my family. Yeah, and yeah. No, actually, a couple of PhDs and a bunch of masters. Uh, uh, um, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am the least educated in my family at the yeah. bachelor's degree. <laughs> 
Um, but I it's tried, a double degree. But yeah, communications, communications and business management. And business I tried management. to go to grad school and didn't, for film in, in California. You'll still it didn't do work it in out. the future. You'll still do it in the future. Do I'm you crazy. look at me as a failure? Because I no. feel like everybody in our family looks at me as like. Let me tell you, a lot of people, education. a lot of people out here wish they actually had a diploma or actually had a degree. So you have a really strong degree and experience in the business world. You know, experience and 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 and, and education. These two things go hand in hand, and they can actually uh, supplement each other. Yeah. That's why you ask, do you have a, deg a master's degree or do you have a five year uh, ex uh, experience? I got this? 10, baby. Oh. Yeah, so you're doing good. You're doing <laughs> good. And as she said, as Joey said, you know, our family, like people have studied. My dad is a professor, has a PhD. Um, mom actually has a master's. <laughs> yeah. And others and others yeah, and, and others. And, and another degree. So when I look at our family, I'm like so encouraged. And I just want to use my, 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 my thing to encourage people out there. So, so well. <laughs> weird story, we both worked at Citizen mm. at, to, at the same time for, yeah. for a bit. Yeah. Was that weird for you? Very weird, you know. like Because I thing, was getting ratchet on Fridays and then he's and praising then, the Lord <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> she was getting ratchet on Fridays and then I come and clean I, Let me say this, I was not areas. getting ratchet. I was entertaining ratchet. <laughs> uh -huh, continue. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Funny thing, we're doing like one on two of the biggest uh, entertainment shows in Kenya. Yeah, and yours is on one uh, extreme, mine is on the other extreme. It was kind of awkward, but the good thing is we never used to meet at work, you know? Yeah. yeah. But it was cool, you know? It was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty good. Um, we have this foundation, the Muthengi Foundation. You guys are probably seeing yes. it on, on the gram. So yes. Just quick. The Muthengi Foundation is a registered non-profit organization, registered under the Register of Societies in Kenya. We raise support for education-related needs. I started it with my sister, Zoe Muthengi, so we're co-founders and directors. So we raise money for different things, as long as it touches on education, whether it's a uniform pro project, yeah, the Future Uchi campaign, or the Comp Mods initiative for computers, or the Be The Light Solar Lamp initiative, or any of our other initiatives. We raise money for education-related needs. Oh, and most recently, we actually have two kids in high school right now. I think it's important for people to note that it's just us. Like, it's literally mm -hmm. what you and I can pull together yeah. through mm -hmm. our networks or people we know. You know, some people you know think what? it's a much larger you know what? Uh, <laughs> endeavor um, than it is. There's this misconception that a, um, a, a foundation is started by people who come from a wealthy family, yeah? Or people who are very old. Yeah. yeah? So us guys registering this foundation was just, as you said, you know, just to use the little that we have, yeah. which is influence to raise support for a cause in society. And since education is close to our heart, mm -hmm. we chose education. So uh, if there was a county that, since you look to the future, if there was a county that you could retire in, which county would you choose ah, to retire in? Machakos, of course. Not no, <laughs> no, no, Machakos, because we have our roots there, we grew up there. Kitui is still close um, to our hearts because dad comes from there and our grandmother was there before she died and, and we have a lot of family there. But you know Machakos is, you know, where we have our roots and we have our home. Would you ever get into politics in Machakos? Politics? Ah. You know what, um, I, would I even get into politics? I believe that in order to change the country, you don't have to be in an elected position. You don't have to hold public office. You can raise it from behind the scenes, mm. from the private sector. So yeah. I don't know if No I'm politics for me politics. either, <laughs> ever, ever. Um, when are you going to get married? Whoa, uh, I didn't know that was part of this Be interview. Be honest. Utawa Lini. <laughs> uh, the other day I was struggling with Utahama Lini. Nah, nah, so, nah. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't you don't know, have I, a plan? I, you, don't have a, you have a plan for your education, your life? Yeah. You have a plan for your marriage? Let's see who watches this um, interview. Um, see, you know, you okay. never know. That's, I'll be at the comment section. That leads into my next question. You always, I've been seeing you on Instagram lately posting these women appreciation posts on Wednesday. <laughs> what is that about? Because sometimes I'm like, oh, um, what's happening here? Nothing. Is he trying to holla? Like, what's, what's the deal? I'm trying to appreciate women in the industry who are doing good things and using their influence positively because there's a lot of negative um, uh, cases being highlighted so I'm doing the opposite and so every week uh, my assistant Gabriela and I look at the industry and we look at a woman who is positive and creating change so you are not trying to holler at your women I'm not trying to holler at these women some of them are married I think <laughs> yeah so why are you posting them that's my question but I've, I'm I've like, started hey, posting the somebody? singles first how do you know they're single? Some of them you we don't do know. We do research. Nobody knows if I'm single or not. You don't put that out there like that. Uh, okay, so blogs, misconceptions. You've talked about that. Um, what's one thing you wish people knew that isn't out there like that? About myself? Yeah. Um, I mean, blogs just talk about the negative things. Oh, oh they love it. 
They yeah. love it. So like, they love a good downfall. There's nothing positive about me that's out there. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. The other there's day, really the other day I was us. on YouTube and YouTube recommended a video that says jobless Joey cries. <laughs> <laughs> you know, over losing her job. And that came from a post you made. That was so positive. Appreciating a, a year yeah. after leaving Citizen. Yeah. And they took one line where you said something like, oh my uh, God, I, was, I was sad or something. Of course I was sad, I'm human. Yeah, you're human. Every every change comes with some sadness. Here's what I think. I think the positivity is our responsibility. We can't, yeah. we can't wait for people to write positive things Exactly, that's us. very good. We need to put everything positive about us out there. They're, going, they're not going to highlight it, yeah. but at least it's out there for whoever wants to see. Yeah. yeah. So 2020 was yeah. good. What's 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 good 2020? Um, I mean the things, all the things I do, because I do the music thing, I do the TV hosting thing, I do the school thing, and I do the financial consulting thing. So like I'm gonna succeed in almost every one of these things. First of all, I'm starting my own financial modeling training school. Yes, I said it here first. Yeah, so that's me, a, a class of around 10 people. I'll be teaching financial modeling, um, something that I've been, I was taught six years ago and I've been practicing. And um, when it comes to music, I have new music coming out. When it comes to the foundation, I mean, right about now we have partners coming in who, instead of us, Kuchangisha 5,000 and 2,000 shillings, as you can see, we have partners who are bringing in so 500 So when do you have time to go to school? Hmm? This PhD? Like Just study in the evenings. Okay. Yeah, I finished my coursework. Actually, I don't think I'll ever step into a class to study. So now you've got to write So your... I'm just working on my research. Shout out to my professor, my uh, research supervisor, Professor Bitangandemo, who I look up to and who is the reason I joined the University of Nairobi Business School. So he's my supervisor. All I do is just talk to him. He says, hey, Dave, let's meet at Urban Eatery. <laughs> yeah, so we just meet. I'm doing my research. I study a lot behind the scenes. <laughs> As you have seen, there's a lot more that we could talk about, but uh, so much, you know, this is this is our vibe. Every time that it's just like we're just hanging out. Yeah. This is probably the person I consider my best friend. Well, nice. He knows where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but we've done this thing together, and I hope that we can keep doing it and encouraging yeah, well, each other because I think we do a lot of that. Mm, yeah, I mean, the last really ten cool. years we've encouraged each other um, to make major moves in the industry. We've consulted each other on every everything every decision to make the industry, whether small or big, I'm a result of um, the advice that you've given me and probably I think I've contributed of a course. bit in your journey. And we've not done, we've not done this, right? No, you know, we've not done this. Yeah, we've not, not done, done this. this. So, yeah, so I hope we can do a lot of more of this stuff together. Definitely. So it's my turn. I get to ask Joey questions. This was not prepared, but you know, top <laughs> of my head, um, I'm sure of uh, three things that you guys might want to know out there. So first of all, what's your role? No, what, what, first of all, um, what's your view on the industry when it comes to female? Yeah, there's a lot of people making shortcuts to success. I don't need to specify, but there's a lot of ladies like you who are taking the long route and being grounded and just working hard for the success. The long route keeps you here longer. I've been in, in this 10 years and grinding and I'm still not where I want to be where I want to be, but I have peace of mind. Like I can go home and sleep at night knowing I worked for my rent this month, I work for everything that I have. And it's, it's just like, a, I guess, you know, to each his own, but it's a personality thing for me. I, I don't like to feel like I owe anyone anything. I like to feel like whatever I think I can get from you, God can give me more. That's right. So that's just kind of been how I look at things, but not judgmental, just this is who I am. I like that, just who, who you are. Mm -hmm. Talking about who you are, you know, you're, you're on radio right now, you're on TV, you're, on, you're in the media, but then how, is a day in Joey's life, like behind the scenes, when you're not on camera? It's just me and my series and my bed. <laughs> you're serious in your yeah, bed? Yeah, that's my whole life, honestly. Like, I'm an introvert, you know this, I've been my whole life. I know that, but I'm sure people I don't socialize that. with anybody other than my brother or my brother's friends, <laughs> pretty much. That's the extent of my social life. If you see me out, I'm working. Uh, yeah, and I'm just comfortable. I'm just comfortable in my skin right now, so I don't, I don't do a lot of, a lot of all that. We're single. Of course. When have I ever not been single? Full of Y'all ever, ever seen you mean, me with nobody? Why? Y'all ever seen me with nobody? Did you I guys ever claim anybody? Why? Right? Why? Right? Why? Because uh, I don't want to settle. I'm not saying I don't get offers, but like, you know, I'm not gonna settle. Yeah. Lastly, I know those are three, but what are, what are your plans right now in the industry? Where, where do you, where do you want to go? 
ain't got no plans. I ain't got no plans. Whatever comes. <laughs> Whatever comes and it feels right. Like that, mm -hmm. I am a really intuitive person, so I live my life based on. And even when I get people offer me gigs or stuff like that, and I'm yeah. like, I'm not feeling it, I won't do it. No matter That's how it. much money it is, like I do things that feel right in my spirit yeah. and you know feel right with me. That's right. So whatever comes along that makes sense to me, it's all right. In one sentence, encourage someone out there. This is a Christian in me now coming out, but you know, encourage a young girl. You want me to girl. give a Bible verse? No, 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 not even a Bible verse. Encourage a young girl who's just, you know, probably giving up, man, and like, yo, this is too hard. This is harder than I thought. Life is hard for everybody, and I think the main thing that I have learned is that I'm not the only one going through stuff. Sometimes things come at you and you're like, I can't get through this. But you got through the other one and the other one and you're still there. So I think, you know, life is full of challenges and the more you overcome, the stronger you become and hopefully the more you believe in yourself. And I think self-belief is number one, man. If you don't believe in yourself, don't wait for other people to like your Instagram post for you to feel good about yourself, because that ain't it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> and there we have it. That was the first time I've gotten to, inter <laughs> to interview my sister, Joy. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, are you buying lunch? Sure, like, where, where you want to check out? Where you want to check out, man? I'm I don't know, man. I don't know. I heard a very cheap food in town. Yeah, I think my budget a, in this economy. There's a spot here. <laughs> For Stanley? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. This has been my bro, HD. My name is Joy Mukwengi. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace. We're out. <laughs>